Uh, it is I, it is our good friend, C Note TV. And uh, welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. This is our first trial. Um, starting next week, we will be podcasting on Spotify. So today, we're just kind of trying some shit. Um, the background will change. We have given complete creative control to Noble Studios. So. I might not even be a Corgi next week. I don't know. I don't know what he's got <laughs> planned. Uh, we'll see. I might come back out with an accent. Who knows? It, it, it's, uh, but either way, uh, I'm uh, more than thrilled to, to have uh, Noble step into, uh, you know, tech everything role. So, but happy new year, buddy. Happy Christmas. Happy I feel like we haven't talked in a while. Like I know we fucking discord every day, but I feel like we haven't sat down and had a good Do chat it. in a while. It's been a minute, and I felt bad about it because I'm like, our schedules never linked up for some reason, and I'm like, oh, I, I think our schedules are just so the same. But like, and that's it, because by the time I get home, you just have that consistency to play video games. You're like, you allow yourself that time. Like that's yeah. the thing. I wind up like, and that's it. I uh, with this new job, it hasn't been bad, but like, I've got an hour commute hour and a half total so holy crap well it's holy better crap. when the sun's up but because of all the deer and shit i gotta fucking cruise instead of at 100 i'm cruising at like 60k 60. on a really shitty road and right now my father-in-law lent me his truck so he's got a nice z71 but he's got these like and for a farm guy like usually like i get big tires like i get like yeah, yeah. rock crawl crawlers so my father's got a Z71, and this guy lives on a cattle farm down a dirt road that he usually has to dig out with a tractor. And he's got mm. these little low-profile uniroils on a 19-inch oh. rim. <laughs> so all that bitch does is slide back and forth. But oh my god! I joked with him and I said maybe for Father's Day we'll get you we'll get you some proper rubbers. But I haven't heard anything back on my car. I'm kind of hoping they don't write it off. But if they do, I've got a lineup of shit that I got to go see next week. So, but, uh, oh my God. Hey man, it is what it is. But the, the good yeah. thing is when I bought my Jeep, that's when the price kind of crashed on it. So mm -hmm. it wasn't too bad. Like I am likely going to make money if they write it off. And if they fix it, I can still trade it in. Like I was a 26 uh, Cherokee sport and I yeah. can trade it in for a 2017 Trailhawk fully mm -hmm. loaded Pirelli tires done to the Ooh. tits for 19,000. So it's really Ooh. not horrible, right? Like, yeah. And that's it. So, and, and that's it. And it's got 60,000 less kilometers on it. So, which, you know, works out to like 30 fucking miles, but you know what, you know what people buy here What for the, the farmers and the people who have ranches here, they buy like the, I forgot what the name of the brand of the truck is, but it's a giant freaking truck, dude. The Sierras. It, yeah. We no, it's like home. a King ranch. Whatever that is. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, hang on. Dodge has the Longhorn. I. It's one of them anyways. I'm sure it's, uh, it's like, some sort dude, of super duty. But yeah, th that's normal I, here, man. I feel like I could have like a thousand square foot four bedroom house inside that truck. That's how big it is. Like, it's gigantic, dude. Wow. Like, I had somebody park next to me, right? And I was trying to get into a parking spot. And I made the parking spot. But he also had those big, like meaty freaking mm -hmm. hill climber tires that you were just talking about yeah so i pull my little honda civic si right next to it right little two-door honda civic si i go to open my door and i hit the tire immediately i'm like well i can't get out this side so i had to crawl over my passenger side seat to get out of the freaking car because the tires stuck over the yellow lines yeah, that's how and, big and this freaking car do, is right because now it's, what do you uh, do and that's it it's uh you know and that's the thing and i know I guess out here there isn't enough people. Like when I was in the city, like you always like, even when I took like a Camaro out, like you park it down the fucking lot, like in an open space under yeah. a light. But that's it. But uh, we're so used to big trucks here, and that's it. Like everybody just takes the two up, spaces, space? right? Well, but that's just yeah. it. But like I guess you guys are probably a lot more dense than we are. Like if you went up there and you saw Super Duty with two parking spots because of their fucking tires, someone's going to say something like, like, well, not only that, but like the, we have people here who do it with Corvettes, right? Yeah. Rock they park, boy, they Spade. Park. Welcome in buddy. How we doing? What up Spade? Rock boy salute. They, uh, so they'll get like the brand new Corvette, you know, like the one that kind of uh -huh. looks like a Ferrari, that last one. Yeah. 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 And we'll be in a Wegmans parking lot, which now you guys know about Wegmans. We'll be in a Wegmans parking lot, right? 
they will park as far out as they can under a light, but they will cross park like across two parking spaces. Yeah. Because they don't want anybody to ding their car. And then, so what that invites here, when people see that here, they will go and like park that car in. They will, they will go and do that. So they'll either have dings or they'll be so parked in they can't get back out. So it's like, what do you do? See, you know? and, and that's it. I, I, fucking good day today, Spade, to be honest with you. I got up early. I played some. I'm almost done uh, Tears of the Kingdom. Oh, and, nice. Oh, dude, I've been. I was riding a horse for at least three weeks to try to pull this thing like as far as I could because I didn't know what I was going to play next. But yeah. I am gonna. I got uh, GTA Five downloaded, so I'm gonna give that nice. a fucking go. So you ready I, for six? You know what? I haven't played one since San Andreas, but uh, but uh, the kid really likes it, so I was like, okay, hey, well, let's you know, let me try it out because it was good. Horby, welcome in. What but, up, Horby? Um, I will say this about GTA Six, right? Everything that I've seen about GTA Six is gonna that game's gonna be amazing. But here's the thing: everybody in that game got. Big ass booties, dude. Every one of them. I don't think there's one person that doesn't. And I'm probably like, I don't even know how that's possible. It's I don't even know like who edited that. Who was like, yo, we're going to make every booty huge. Hey, man, he was just a body <laughs> lover. And I got to love that human being. <laughs> you guys remember Dead and Alive Beach Volleyball. Like that was. 100%. Dude, I went to an all boys private school. And I can tell you. There, the amount of fucking nerds that went like whatever they had an allowance went into that game and that was it and mm -hmm. just like you didn't see them for weeks right because you know that they were just there mm -hmm. but dry yeah, socks and uh, everything you know what i'm saying but, but that's but, it but, 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 <laughs> but yeah but dude have you seen the trailer for that yeah, game? yeah i watched it and that's like that's dude, really it's... what gave me that tipping point because hey no worries guys appreciate you guys being here but yeah, yeah. uh and, and that's it like because with the witcher right because you remember me when i played the witcher like legend of zelda yeah. is kind of in my new witcher but that's uh -huh. it and i feel like i need something as mm. open as that to keep my mind occupied where there's because that's it like when you guys play when you guys play shooters right like that's yeah. your open world that's how you see that's the thing i just want to go out and rob shit and fuck shit up and i can't do that in real life anymore so i gotta like you know i gotta get it out in a video game so does, I, does it have to be like old timey settings? No. Dude, try Armor Core. Armor Core? Okay. Armored Core. Armored Core oh, 6 armored to core be exact. Kit. Like I have, hold on, I'll show you. Because we made the we made the hot sauce for this actually. We had the contract for it. Oh, by the way guys, Karma Sauce, if you don't have it, get it. Because yeah. uh, my fridge is full of it and it is fucking delicious. Cosmic Dumpling is still my favorite bro. That is yeah. just an amazing So What's that we one? have the specialized armored core fires of ever, ever beast hot sauce what hot sauce it is i'm not sure but it, it's an armored core six it's hot sauce. delicious hot sauce whatever it the, is the fires of rubicon i'm assuming it's i don't know what it oh, is i don't know what they command. made it but that hot sauce yeah so uh yeah we do it oh it's a real command on my i thought it used to be <laughs> i thought it is, is it on yours yeah, it's okay, on okay, mine. That's why, yeah, because I know I've used it as a fucking command on someone's stream. So if you, yeah, if you go into like stream elements or whatever you use and you put the link or you, you can put the link to the website and put whatever your code is and then you can put exclamation point karma and it'll work. But Fuck, I got to follow that's up with basically. Buddy. I sent him that form like a year ago. But, yeah, uh, yeah. But either way, it is, uh, but yeah, it's. Uh, I, I've completely forgotten about it. And HelloFresh, yeah. I've tried to see yeah. if HelloFresh will just keep, will send me free meals if I just like put their logo in the corner. Because... Probably. You know what? But that's uh, that's ahead. the thing for the baby shower. Um, if we have any hot sauce left, <laughs> I don't know. It'll probably all be gone because we have specialized baby shower hot sauces. Right. As well. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll try to send you one if I if I can snag one. Fuck, and that's it. I just like a wall of hats. I just want to like wall of like hot sauces from Karma Sauce. Like that's it. Dude, but... You know what we found out? You know, we found out there's a dude in the United States. He has the largest collection of hot sauces. It's basically a hot sauce museum in his freaking house. You go into his basement. It's nothing but hot sauces. Right. Bro, bro's got a passion. Bro, we are featured in that story. He's like, yep, I just got my karma sauce. I'm putting it up on the shelf. Blah, blah, blah. Dude, dude's got like millions of bottles of hot sauce. God forbid if anything ever happened to that house. 
whether it be an earthquake, the house blew up because of freaking the water heater malfunctioned or something. Somebody's getting maced in that neighborhood. Right. There's no way you blow that up and that much hot sauce is spraying all over the place. Just somebody's going to be hurt. Pressurized. Just, yeah. <laughs> it's like a hot sauce fire hose. That's just it. hit somebody in it's the like face. a Simpsons episode. And you just see the house like pulsating. And then all of a sudden. Oh, yeah. When Bart freaking did the April Fools after yeah. he shook up the beer in the paint can. He's like, yeah. April. That's what it was. <laughs> But yeah, but how are you doing? And 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 that's the thing for those uh, I know everybody that's been in here pretty much comes in here all the time. But for those of you uh, who mm-hmm. don't know, our good friend Kerry is uh, expecting a child with his lovely wife, and uh, you know it's a good thing that you're still smiling about it. So tell me about him. No, What's, I'm very happy talk about, to me about it. About the journey, how is this? How, how, like, um, how crazy? Because like you said, I know your it's... schedule is starting to get busy, but. Bro, it's starting to get busy, but it really hasn't fully hit me yet. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's that point, and I was warned about this, actually. There's a point where it hits you and you're like, oh, shit, this is real. Like, this is real. Like, we have a real little human that we have to take care of. This is real. And they were like, it won't hit you until that baby is born. Then you'll be like, oh, crap. But up until that point, you're just like, oh, it's still me and my wife. There's not another being here yet, even though there is a being there. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're still acting like everything's normal until that baby is born and nothing's ever normal again. They were like, I hope you don't like everything going to plan because that shit's not going to happen. That's done. And I was like, ah, I love everything going to plan. But it never does. Well, and, that's and now it's just, really never gonna. <laughs> so. Which is funny because I'm just as OCD as you, and this never goes as planned. Like literally, we had mm-hmm. one job today, and that was to stay on topic. We have mm-hmm. not picked a topic yet, so no. No, role. we haven't. You're right. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but, but I will say this though. I will say this, and I have noticed this over the last two or three months. Something like that. And I know you always say that I'm like the voice of reason, yeah, right? Yeah, definitely. I, I, and my wife laughs every time you say that. Every time. She's like, he's the voice of reason? Has she seen our chats? <laughs> oh, she, yeah. <laughs> yeah Some so. of them. Some of them. But um, so she laughs, right? But we have noticed, I don't know if my wife has noticed this, but I have noticed just certain things don't seem to bother me as much anymore. Like... I'm just like, eh, whatever. We'll get it done. It'll happen. You know, it's no big deal. I don't care. Well, this thing has to happen. It's an important thing that has to happen. We're obviously not going to forget about this. You know, and little things that, like, used to upset me, I don't care anymore. I'm just like, eh, whatever. It doesn't affect my life in a major way. I'm not going to be broke, homeless, or I'm not going to be freaking hungry or anything like that. So I don't care. You know, if if it happens to you know, um, inconvenience me in a small amount. I'll just step over it, continue what I'm doing and go about my day. It's not like, I don't find myself getting upset as often. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's weird. Do I know what you're saying? No, dude, I get, I get pissed off over like (laughs) fucking empty toilet paper rolls, bro. And that's the thing. It's stuff like that where I'm like, don't just put the roll back on. And I'm just like, all right, well, I guess I'll just put this roll back on. It's not a big deal. So you know? so you've essentially hit dad mode, right? So let me ask you a couple questions. Like, does mm-hmm. Home Depot, like, do you feel more at home at Home Depot now than you did before? Like, I'm sure you've gone and done renovations, right? Because oh, now yeah, you're yeah. taking care. And that's the thing, because you're at that weird point, because now you got to take care of your pops and you got the little one on the way. Yeah, yeah. So, so that's not even that big of a deal either, because like my dad actually now is getting way better. So I've watched him walk probably 20 feet with a walker and then walk 20 feet back and then sat down. Bro, he is determined. Like he was like, because my sister just had her son last week. Oh, really? Congratulations. Yeah, yeah. Hang on. Ah, Congratulations. (laughs) So he's like, he, his motivation originally was like, I want to drive my car. Uh Uh-huh. Now he's like, I want to be able to hold my grandson, you know? So he's working overtime now. He was already working overtime, but now he's putting in that, like that holiday pay time. You know what I'm saying? That extra, like little, I want to be able to hold my grandsons. I want to be able to walk around and run around and play with them and shit. So now there's 
extra motivation to be like, yo, I got to get this done. But he's he's actually making a serious like there's a serious step forward from the last few times I saw him. And I'm like, holy shit, I didn't know you could do this. Dad, you never told me. Nobody told me. Well, you know, he just got up and started walking one day. And I'm like, what the hell? What the hell? You know, it's slow going, but it's still that's way more than it used to be. Yeah, but I think it's proof that your family's built a little different, man. Like I said, I've known you for I a couple of years. So. And, and, <laughs> and that, well, I was even talking with Tracy, right? Like after everything that happened uh, last night and stuff yeah. like that. And it was just like, you know, I feel worse because I made you feel bad for a little bit and you had nothing to do with it. And I ah. said, that's just, and this is why I call you my barometer because it's like, if C note is affected by something I said, then I feel, but they, but it's like the same, right? We don't like dumping yeah. shit on Noble, and then Noble yeah. yells at us when we don't dump shit on. Oh yeah, by the way, everybody, Noble has agreed to handle everything, and I have gave him everything. So I will yeah. no longer be making my TikToks. Uh, so for any credit, creative uh, More process, anything like that, God bless the man, Noble. Thank you so much. But, um, but um, oh shit, he's here, Boda. Yeah, Noble. What up, Boda? I didn't even know Noble was here. Welcome and welcome. And I got some shouties to do, so I got to work off my phone because I don't know how to work three monitors. Mm, it's, uh, you'll get there. It gets easier. I promise shit. you. But well, that's the thing. So, well, like, uh, like with all that happened over the last year, the amount that I've just been freaked out, like, just stressed and freaked out, even over the last, let's say, five years, everything that's happened over the last five years, and you add streaming into it, right? Like, I've had to, like, navigate stress, sleeplessness, um, outright fear, things not working out technically, having to deal with different people and different emotions and different reactions to things, having to actually stand my ground repeatedly against whatever in stream, stuff like that. Like, I feel like... This last five years, as far as a human being, I have grown to a point, and not only just me, like people around me have grown because they've also been dealing with the same shit. Like the last five years has been crazy for everybody. So I'm noticing like a growth in people where they're just like, you know, this shit doesn't really affect me as much as it really used to. And it could be just me getting older. It could be everybody getting older, but I feel like it doesn't, things don't affect me as much as they used to. I used to be like a real hothead. Like I would just snap and be like, fuck, blah, 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 blah. I can't believe you've done this. Da, da, da. You know, I would my job freak now, out. Folks. I would freak out. And then I noticed that over the last five years, I'm just like, eh, whatever. We'll get this stuff done. You know, I'll go get groceries, laundry whatever doesn't matter that's i'm just picking those out just as an example but like you know these things it's not when i realized it i'm like i am wasting my life freaking out over nothing when i could just be like it doesn't bother me handle my business as a you know as an adult and then go about my life being happy and i'm much less stressed out that way that's so like why would i bother letting these little things get in my way of you know, my sanity and happiness. Why would I do that? You know, it's just making everything harder because now people are looking at me like I'm the asshole. And instead of helping me towards these goals, right. they're fighting against me because they're like, he's an asshole. So I'm like, I don't feel I should do that anymore. That's not the right path for me. So I'm going to go That's down good. this other path. And now there's a kid. So I got to teach this kid how to be able to manage his emotions and the way he goes about life so that he's not following the same path that I've already learned is probably the wrong way. I don't, you know, like I said, from what I know of uh, you and apparently your pops uh, getting back out there, uh, like I said, I, I I think your family carries built a little different. So and, yeah, and, and I mean, if I if it's I ever been an definitely... honor knowing you for as long as I have, brother. <laughs> Thank you, dude. I still think Likewise, my, I just still think you're my longest sub, dude. I think I'm at like fucking. It's got to be 24 months now because I just did my two. Yeah, years. yeah. Yeah, I'm going to have to hit that resub soon, actually. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to have to hit that. But I will say this. If I ever get caught in a situation like my dad, I hope, hope that I can have at least 50% of the motivation to be like, yo, I got to walk again. 
because I don't know how I'd react in that situation. I can't honestly say that I would keep up hope and motivation the way he did over the last year or two. That's that is impressive. Dude, I have watched you get hit by bullet bill after bullet bill, <laughs> blue shell after blue shell. And every fucking Monday you yep. rise up like a fucking Phoenix from the ashes and you do that's it. true so but that's I video think games you, i think your family motivation and that's what i taught like that's that's something that can't be taught man that's that's in the blood like that's the thing mm. that's in the blood like it's even when you play rugby right because i was the same with football right? yeah yeah that that switch that you can turn off and just get the job done but um that's scary actually my wife scary. broke it down for me because my wife actually broke it down for me she was like that was terrifying she was like, you're this happy-go-lucky dude most of the time. And then when the whistle blows, you can just see that switch flip and monster. Like, you want to kill everyone. Like, that's terrifying. In, in, but that's a part of me. And that's the thing. And I think this, in you know, maybe we did find a topic here. Like, let's talk about, you know, just the human history, right? Like, let's talk mm -hmm. about, you know, predator, prey. And, mm -hmm. and and everything along the way because that's the thing and and for those who play sports and, and it's not different like numbers guys and women like everybody there are people that can target something analyze mm -hmm. it break it down and then there's stuff like because even when i played football and box and i felt really bad because i remember it was just sparring practice man and that switch mm -hmm. turned off and the kid was bleed and i just well i was fucking 19 at the time too but the other guy was yeah. and i just i didn't stop like they had to pull me off and like i said man i was five five 145 at the time i was featherweight and yeah. when it takes two grown-ass men to pull someone they could have put a big ass fan on and i would have blown away but they had yeah. to rip and that's it because you don't realize and that's it and i think that's one thing that people have learned to exploit throughout time but it's like a horse. Like when people talk about a horse, um, like especially with chuck rag wagon racing and stuff like that, that it's that's what the fucking horse loves to do. Like, yeah. you know, it, it is weird. Like there is there is a natural drive in human beings. Well, some human beings, some people, like I said, it's just they can they're they're happy and that's cool, man. If you're happy, you know, you want to pick berries, chill out, I'll be in. Yeah. But um, but I was but for me and and like you said, when you play sports, you have that switch too but could you imagine let's just go back you know 400 years right now mm -hmm. right you would still have that right we would be in different fucking clothes and that's it but yeah if i had a sword in my head and someone told me you need to live or the only way you're gonna live is if you kill that guy what's the first thing we're gonna do bud like we're, oh, we're gonna that go guy's to work done right it's, he's it's not eliminated even... from the census he's gone and that's it like... <laughs> because there's only one option then but but i think yeah. what you said is great because you don't worry about that shit no more because yeah. now you're laser focused on family. Like you've gotten past that. And I call it the aggressive part of safety. It's uh, I'm, I'm learning a lot about wildlife too. Cause uh, you know, I, I, I aspire to one day pick up a bow and be a bow hunter. Now that you're hitting my fucking car, I should help. Mm. But, um, Which I hate by the way, too. but that's it. But we'll deer's going rut, right? Because that's yep. when they get stupid and that's, so I was joking with Tracy cause you know, I'm also, I'm about seven weeks removed from cigarettes. Um, mm, I am nice. four days off my patches. Um, nice. I, I, yeah, because I just said if I'm going to do it at this point, I got to fucking just do it. So, mm -hmm. and, uh, and that's it, dude. But uh, I can't say that I'm feeling better. Can't say that I didn't talk to Tracy about licking a fucking nicorette patch last night but you know oh it's uh, i i got to the point man i got to tree frog point like i just needed something but i had to uh i i fought through it so i played uh, i played legend of zelda until two o'clock in the morning so but you're doing it though that's the important thing you're doing it dude i have come off i like and i was talking to noble about this last night like i've been addicted to a lot of things uh like mm -hmm. i did you know, I was on blow for 15 years and we're talking like fresh off the boat blow. So mm -hmm. it's, um, it was difficult, right? When you, but that was my cigarette, right? Cause in the morning, lunch, dinner. And the thing is I could eat and I could work out on it and, I, and it was so good. I could sleep on it. So at that point, do you really have a problem? Right? Like, mm -hmm. cause that's it. I needed to get 26 hours out of a 24 hour day. So I did, but mm -hmm. I also 
you know, I, I woke up in a paralysis once where only my eyes moved. Um, oh, I've got, shit. And, dude, I've, I have, I've danced with the devil more than I like to talk about, but it's, uh, and that's it. So I had to stop. And for the last year, year and a half, uh, our niece was battling cancer, right? She mm -hmm. had a rare, rare condition. She actually had to go down to the States. You guys were there through that. And mm -hmm. I had to look at this poor girl with the smell of cigarettes on my finger oh shit yeah that's rough and the thing is i had a tumor before man they got it out it was easy peasy you know i got a second chance so what did dano do he took you know a year off and then started ripping him again yeah and that's it because it only yeah. takes one and that's it like people don't understand like dude they're highly addictive but it's highly like it's so hard vapes. like dude i'm on freaking this dude yeah like that's like i can't i gotta kick that like that's it's just as bad well, and, and I was talking to, because uh, me and Noble, we had a good talk yesterday, but like I said, what, then we were talking about this just before the show here when I got, you know, mm -hmm. well, toxic shock, nicotine poisoning, whatever, because mm -hmm. I used to be a three quarter pack a day smoker. And mm -hmm. we're talking 20, 25 years here, guys. Like, I, I don't know if you guys have Benson and Hedges Black down there, but I used to, I used to smoke those fucking tar nuggets like a, like a motherfucker. Like you, you could not taste Ooh. your mouth after, but yep. That's how I liked it, right? I liked my rush. So, um, so I got to a point where, yeah, like, you know, when I had that toxic shock, so what had happened, and I explained this to, to Carrie earlier and to Noble, uh, when I was combining one day, I was trying, I wanted to quit. So I was kind of at that intermediate stage. So I trusted my life and my health to some, you know, 18 year old, you know, probably past high school, just enough with like mm -hmm. dosing me for nicotine. So she says, oh, well, these ones are the highest that we have. But she didn't tell me, you know, take take a rip and chill the fuck out for a while. Because I said, I'm just a habit. Like, sometimes I only smoke half a cigarette, right? I'd put it out. It's just to have something going while I'm doing something else. But Hold so, on one second. I got somebody at my door right now. Thing, I'm sorry. I am so sorry. I'll be right back. Just going to be uh, Corgi dancing for about three minutes now. We don't have, uh, we'll have to work on commercial cutscenes. Maybe we can get some sponsorship. And this is Corgi. Let's talk about HelloFresh. They're starting to charge me regular prices and it's way too expensive. So if someone from HelloFresh is there, wants to make a deal so that I can keep getting free food, appreciate you. But who knows? Probably not going to happen. How's everybody's day? Welcome in. Noble, thank you for being here. Buddha, thanks for being here. Also, Buddha, yeah, I just want to, I, I, I tried to send you an invite yesterday, but I don't know why I can't, but, uh, if you want to know where we're at on uh, Discord, let me know. But um, but I no, appreciate everybody being here. It's actually a really nice day outside today. It's cold as fuck, but I'm not leaving the house. So Lady Dragon went out and uh, she is acquiring coffee and groceries right now. And that's it. We came on to, to do a show earlier. And next week, we're actually going to stick to doing some sort of... Uh... Ah, you got this, Noble. You got this. Just no fucking, no Red Bulls. Sorry, they were trying to switch my internet package. <sighs> they come to your door still out there? Fuck, that's Yep. <laughs> yes, they do. Probably once a week. Are you serious? Holy yeah. shit. They're really trying to get me to switch. Like, oh. really trying. And I'm still thinking about it, but... Just, 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 just make them sweat for a couple more weeks, man. Oh, that's pretty much what I've been doing. They've been doing this for six months, bro. Oh, then they'll keep coming because all you got to do is you just got to wait till you have a crying baby. I can't deal with this shit. And just like, they'll just give you free shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, that's right. what I wait. Just a couple months. I got it. Yeah. But uh, all right. So what we're talking about, the human condition. So predator, yeah. prey. But that's it. And and I think, and I really think, and even if it's a single sport athlete, I've seen, and that's it, because I've played a lot of single sport, but. Mm-hmm. That's a drive too. Like I know a lot of people that I don't know. I didn't, and it's probably not the right thing to say, but um, I don't know if a single sport player would do better in a team sport, like to move into and transition to a team sport than someone from a team sport transitioning into a solo sport. I don't think they there's any really, could. I think an athlete's an athlete throughout, right? Like, yeah, like you're still going to have that athletic ability. And even if it is a single sport, like you're still working with a team, essentially, you have to deal with your coaches, your trainers, all that stuff. So you're still on a team. It's just a different form of a team. 
Yeah. You know, so I think they'd be okay. But there was something I heard probably 10, 15 years ago that made total sense to me. It's, and it's when you brought it back to, you know, four or 500 years ago, right? When you were like, or let's bring it even farther back than that. Let's go 20,000 years ago. Way back. You know, time. like way back. Like when humans, whenever, was it 20,000 or 200,000? I don't know. When humans first started showing up and they were like, so we have all these people now. We don't have this worry of constantly being hunted by, I don't know, fucking saber-toothed tigers or whatever else would hunt us when we have our little sticks and shit. So we're just sitting in offices right now. And you, they, people are like, you're wondering why people have anxiety because they're used to having that like fight or flight reflex going and they don't have to worry about that right now. They don't have to worry about going out to hunt their food. They just go to a grocery store and pick up a couple steaks. They don't have to worry about, oh my God, this animal is going to kill me and my family. I got to find a nice little cave or hut in a tree somewhere to where like we can survive and not be murked in our sleep. We don't have that anymore, well, but we still have that drive that kicks in every once in a while. And if you're constantly sitting down, you're just like, and I remember that working in an office and I just remember walking back and forth like I was an animal in a cage, yeah. like I was freaking the fuck out. And I'm like, I don't have this. So that's when I started playing rugby and I got all that shit out. <laughs> so, well, but it makes total to. sense. Like, and that's yeah. it. And that's why I've been li trying to lift consistently to help me with that shit. But no, it's, mm -hmm. um, I don't know. It, it's a funny thing because, and, and, you know, and, and I made this this comparison to, to Tracy. Um, but the reason the wolves have to protect, well, if the wolves... And we'll just refer to them as the human wolves. If the human mm -hmm. wolves were allowed to hunt the human sheep, right? Mm -hmm. We would have a lot more resources. That being said, though, people can't make money off human sheep if they're dead, right? That's because correct. there's never been money in the cure, right? And and, and this is it. And, I, and and we had a, and I had to have a chat with uh, with the doctor the other day because mm -hmm. uh, there's just issues um some things that just i i just find after three years should have been sorted that aren't but anyways neither here nor there but i said if my car was leaking oil for mm -hmm. three years mm -hmm. would it not be a prudent decision on my part to seek a second opinion like would that be a crazy thought and that's no. it so when when i look because and that was the other thing with cigarettes and I guess this does go back to the human condition. Like I am designed to survive, right? Yes. I know when my body rejects something, I know, you know, sometimes shit just doesn't work out. Right. We've proven this on, on multiple occasions, um, mm -hmm. you know, and, and, and sometimes like even with sport, you see it, right. We've, we've plucked a quarterback from one team to another. We see if that works. Cause like you said, and I, and I think this just proves your point. Um, that you are learning to work as a team, right? Mm -hmm. And I think your individual, your individual strength is only as good as the team behind you. And and, and I and I and I think that's true, right? Because yes. when you take someone, and 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 this is our problem, and you know we're both guilty of this, but you know this is the reason why we've agreed to give noble, creative right is because we got other shit to do. Mine and your yes. job is to talk, right? Yeah. Why the fuck, you know, why, why, why am I here ripping out an engine when I'm a part salesman? Like, you know, there, there's, you know what I mean? So it's, I yeah. don't think it's, it's crazy to think that we need to be more comfortable relying on people, being okay, not knowing something, right? Because we get to this point where it's viewed as some sort of minor fucking weakness because you don't yeah. know the answer to something because you haven't lived 40 years in someone else's shoes like you know what i mean like it's so yep i don't know there's there, there's something there but i think humans are just it's fascinating but uh but like i said like we talk about right you said it the best i feel like i'm about two steps behind you i feel like you know when we got uh a little a little baby pork chop in the oven um mm -hmm. you know it'll it uh, my priorities will change because that was the thing too, right? I was off for two months trying to get my mentals right. And the only thing I can think of was, you know, where in Hyrule can I go and find a new fucking well? So, you yeah. know, it's just, it's just shit like that. Like you waste time, but, um, but that's but also one of the things like now that you're saying that, right. 
that right there. Well, I mean, we can tie that in. I am also really excited to pull out every video game system I have when this kid is old enough to like be able to play them. Like I am excited to have him play old Zelda games and build his way up to this switch, which I won't even be playing in the next year and a half because I'll have the new one. Yeah. But, but I'm excited for that kid to boot up call of duty or boot up Fortnite and just start smoking people. I'm excited for that. You know, that's how excited I was when I brought my godson over for that stream. And he's just smoking people on Fortnite, just go. nonstop. I'm excited for that. I don't know if my wife's excited for that because then she's going to be like, oh, great. I lost two people to video games and streaming now. But but I'm excited for that. You know what? And just I feel like, rude because we yeah. sat here and chat about your feelings and how you're doing. How is the wonderful Mrs. C doing? So she's doing pretty well so there was a little bit of a hiccup because we both got covid oh fuck and i know you knew that like yeah you you, you, you could hear you my down, voice dude down for a while oh. dude it was bad like i i wanted to just come on to somebody's stream and be like tell them large marge sent you you know that whole thing because that's what my voice sounded like she didn't get the voice portion <laughs> she, she didn't get the get voice, the voice portion. Well, luckily. she didn't get the voice portion but man, she was having a hard time breathing. And it didn't help at the time that my son decided that, oh, my legs are long enough to kick you in the ribs from the nice. inside now. So he's just like, just giving her the business from the inside. <laughs> She's like, oh, what the fuck? And you can see her just like, stop it. Stop, stop. And then I'm like, oh, no, dude. So she can't breathe. He's kicking her in the ribs. She's getting headaches just like I did. So we're just sitting down. I'm like pumping her full of fluids. I'm like, just keep drinking. Keep freaking drinking it. Um, so she's feeling a lot better now. But man, that week or two, that was brutal. But she's just as excited as I am, you know. No, right no. up until she just right up until she saw that 3D picture and was like, <laughs> This kid has your lips, he's gonna look just like you. And I'm like, I told you. I told you, but yeah, she's doing pretty well. Oh, that's and good to hear, dude. I'm, well, I'm glad you us. guys get COVID. I know that uh, oh my it God. kind of fucked with your schedule there. But, oh my uh, God. <laughs> like it did it ever, man. Yeah. I felt terrible too. Cause I'm like, I'm pushing my shit on ever people now. <laughs> so well, like, we all got sick after that Mario Kart Monday. Thanks to you. So I just want, I just Christ. wanted to let you know. We, we, How did yeah. you guys fare? Are you guys okay? Cause you know, I'm like, I, it, it, I don't think we had like I'm still kind of bad on like yesterday was kind of rough like we got strep throat going around right now. Oh no! So I'm dude. thinking it's that it was that because yeah. we tested like I ha I had to swab up my nose for at least a minute and a half there nothing uh, and they found no gold out of that so okay um, okay but yeah I don't know it, it it is what it is but like I said I was battling that toxic shock which I'm still like I. I very much caution anybody using vape juice. Make sure, you, you know, know, start start low, work your way up. But uh, yeah. no matter what what the uh, what the girl working the counter tells you. But yeah. um, but that's it, dude. But yeah, I don't know. It's uh, I don't know. But uh, like, but I also said, be the... careful because um, I'm seeing just like, and this is one of the benefits of streaming and talking to people all over the world which not to say I'm talking like I'm world known or anything because I'm not, but like I just happen to be talking to people through You're Discord. You're big in Japan, buddy. Don't kid you. Dude, <laughs> I've been talking to people through Discord and streams when I pop into their streams to try and meet new people. And I'm watching like this sickness just travel the world. Like it's really bad, like really bad. Like, like people are getting like a really bad version of the flu. And it's, I can see it just moving towards our continent. And I'm like, oh, crap. All right, everybody wash your hands. Everybody make sure that you're good. I, mask up, don't mask up, I don't care. Just make sure that you're not passing this shit around. Carrie's watching this shit on Doppler radar, just building just, and moving over. Yeah, I'm Is like, a hurricane we got a large... It's fucking COVID. We got a large flu storm moving in from the Northeast. Be careful, everybody yeah. stay inside. No, no, Get no. your jackets it's and just tea. just a low pressure system, my bad, my bad. <laughs> you guys can go back outside. Just bring an umbrella. But, yeah, uh, so 
seeing it. So I'm like warning everybody of like you, Lady Dragon, everybody be careful. Make sure that you're good. Make sure that your immune system is boosted because what I'm seeing, this shit's pretty nasty. Well, and I don't want anybody getting that. One thing that we have been doing, and it's something that I've put off for years, but we've been upping our vitamin D. And you're probably the same out in, in Buffalo, yep. right? You probably got the same kind yep. of bullshit, right? Like, yep. And that's it. Like, most people have sun all year. It's not that we don't have sun. It's like a gray sun. Like, you don't get mm -hmm. much off of it. Like, mm -hmm. so you don't get that. I guess it's the UV, right? It's just, I, I can't yeah. even say it's a slower UV, but either way, you're not getting that, that heat off the sun. You're not getting it's that... It's prescribed by doctors here. Yeah, well, and it's the same here, like yeah. right, like because even my multivitamins, like I just use Jameson multivitamins there, and it's got like yep. eight hundred units or whatever per pill. Mm -hmm. But yeah, like you need to be at like twenty three hundred. So if you're feeling like a bag of dicks all the time, go get their. Uh, they've got chewable oh, yeah. vitamin D's that are delicious. They actually taste like. You remember orange runts? Yep. Yeah. Yep. That's what that is. So, so I have like the horse pill one, the big, big. Do one. you? Yeah. Yeah. Like they're like, yeah, you need a lot more because like, they're like, you need a lot here. So they're like, if you you could, they were like, technically you can go all the way up to I think it's like twelve, ten thousand units or whatever. Okay. And then it'll start being toxic. But after that, like they're like, you need it because around here, like people get seasonal depression, like it's crazy, like it's it's just a thing here. Well, All you people who live in the southern parts of the world who are, it's kind of yeah. warm. I know you don't know about that, but seasonal depression is a real thing. Yeah. Sad, sad is real. So, yes. uh, yeah. And as a Manitoban, but uh, like I said, you guys kind of get the same weather. You guys are just a little warmer, but you get the same fucking, it's like we're on yeah, the same much. like wind stream. Like that's it because you guys tend to get us uh, everything from us three days after we got it from Calgary. So, oh, yeah, man, we get crazy, crazy. We haven't gotten it yet this year. It's, it's coming. coming. There's supposed to be one this this weekend, actually, yeah, was, starting was, today. Yeah, um, we got a little bit yesterday. We got about three centimeters yesterday, but they're calling for 15 next week. So that works out. Oh, about Jesus three, Christ. 15 centimeters. So it's it's going to be so bad here. And here's why, right? We are literally on the other side of the lake from Toronto. You're gonna get it from like on a sides, clear right? day, I can see the very top of the Toronto skyline. Nice. That's how close we are. So we're on Lake Erie. Yeah. Right. No, not Lake Erie. Lake Ontario. Okay. We're on Lake Ontario. Lake Erie's near Michigan. We're on Lake Ontario. Um, we get crazy, and I mean crazy, lake effect snow. Like really bad lake effect snow, and I live five to ten minutes from the lake. Like, so when we get hit, like there are days where I can't get out of my driveway. Like I'll have to call into work and be like, look, this isn't going to happen, dude. And they're like, what do you mean? The roads are plowed. And I'm like, yeah. And I send them a picture of my driveway and they're like, never mind. Never mind. I'll be like, there I at 2.30. I... We're done at four, right? Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Even with a snowblower, I'm like, dude, it's <laughs> higher than my height of my entire snowblower. This isn't going to work, dude. So... I've sent pictures. I think I've sent pictures in the Discord before. Yeah, where, yeah. Like, I know what you. I know. Like, I, I know the life you live, my friend. I know the life bro. you live. So, like, my driveway is at like a forty-five degree angle for probably ten Ooh. feet, right? And my yard is the same way. So, like, I can go down ten feet. I took a picture of where the street was, and then the snowstorm hit, like a big one. The street was level with the top part of my front yard. So I'm like, oh, well, I'm not getting off this street because I live on a side street. They don't plow side streets very quickly. It got to the <laughs> point where we had to call the news and tell them we can't get off of our street because the city <laughs> never plowed the taxpayer's street. Fucking, so we were stuck on our street for three days. on the city. You called the fucking paper. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude, because they weren't plowing our shit. Dude, it was a week later and we still but couldn't get off our Juan street. We were trapped in our off, houses. Gary. He's just worked 12 straight. <laughs> That's fine. That's totally fine. But when you're stuck on your street, you can't get groceries. Grubhub can't get to you. You can't Instacart anything because nobody can get down your street. And people are stuck without food. Some of the water pipes burst, so Fuck. people didn't even have water. We yeah, were stuck guys, on our you guys, street. You guys are Winnipeg. That's all you guys are Winnipeg. It's the same. It shit. was crazy. So we're sitting there, and then it finally comes out on the news, right? Like a day after, it comes out on the news. Guess what we had? 
giant fucking snow plows coming down our street to clear everything literally the next day i was like you guys couldn't do that in the first place all the main streets were plowed you know how i know this because my coworkers are at work being like dude what's the problem yeah and i'm like what the fuck i can't get out of my street bro even if i got my driveway cleared which i did the street's still screwed i'm still stuck and we have all-wheel drive vehicles well my wife does and she couldn't get off the street there were like cars 10 deep stuck on my street and people are trying to push them out and they get stuck five feet later. So I'm like, might be time to move to a warmer climate, ma'am. Well, it's not <laughs> only like that, like where we live, they close the high, like that's it. Like mm -hmm. we're in between a small city and a major city. So mm -hmm. everything like between those will get closed and then everything south by like default, they close mm -hmm. in the morning because if a truck, we're so flat here that yep. It's hard for them to distinguish between the road and the ditch sometimes. So it's really easy. Oh, I like know. Like where that. you have that yeah, you've been you've been around flat like North uh -huh. Dakota and shit like that's it. We're flat. Like so it's yep. not hard for them to accidents to happen. And where there are hills, like south of me, like where I drive to work, it it there's a lot of valleys. But yep. when you have a tandem full of grain or hogs or something like that going down an icy high and we're talking and i'll send you a picture of that highway because it's literally like ranked worse than manitoba i think it's number two but you, you have know the crazy part is i know exactly where you're talking about you know how i know how my cousins and my uncle are truck drivers and have been through there and they've sent yeah. me videos highway i know all about it highway I know 34 all about it. that that that's how i live it's uh mm -hmm. but it's a uh, snowshoe well and that's, that's the thing noble, right? right like we we decided that we wanted an easier life but we could have just done this with snowshoes and dogs and sleds like yep. and that's it because you would have gotten to work but you know you had to yep. have the two-door civic i could have gotten to work but you know yep. i had a deer with my fucking jeep because if i had to walk to work i wouldn't be fucking worrying about this but it's, yeah dude uh, that's how it was when i worked at um when i worked at my stepdad's restaurant like 20 years ago when i first met my wife right during the winter time, we, we still nonstop bad winters, just brutal snowstorms. So I would end up at work because I knew a buddy who had a Jeep and he would just drive me in because he knew I couldn't get there yeah. with my car. That guy. So yeah. we're at work. I'm, you know, bus boying or whatever at that time. And uh, people would come in on the weekend, snowmobilers, big old gang of snowmobilers, just like 50 deep, would just roll in, have their beer, have their lunch, roll out. It's all snowmobiles. And I'm like, that should be the winter car of choice for this area. It should just be snowmobiles. Like, what are we doing here? You that, know? That's pretty much what it is here. It's, uh, yeah. and, and that's what it is. Like, there's people that have fucking plows on the front of their Dodge Rams, man. Yes. Yeah. And that's it. But yeah, I know quads, side by sides. It's, that's, that's just, that's what they do on my street now. They hook a snow plow to the front of a quad. And they just plow everybody's driveway and they it's try easier. to plow the street out as much as possible because we're not going to get it. We're like I said, we're a side street. They plow us last. Actually, so, I was going to send you something. Uh, Quebec's been doing something cool. I don't know if you've ever seen the way that they clear their streets. It's a they, giant snowblower with a, with a uh, 18 wheeler. Yeah. And the yeah. little shoot. So they have the shoot guy and he can do three passes on the street with parked cars. And then yep. he does two cleans with the semi that comes through. And he just yep. loads that tandem fucking street for street. Oh, Beautiful so logistics. Good. Beautiful it's logistics. It's so amazing. We need yeah. to do that here. We never will, but we need to do that here. But the oh, problem is when mean... you start, like, and I, I, Quebec's got its slopes, but I know Ontario's bad, and I imagine New York where you're at isn't bad. Like, if your driveway's at a 45-degree pitch. Like, yeah. there's it's not terrible. Because my, uh, my, well, my cousin was married to a firefighter in uh, in Toronto, and, and that was the thing. Like, their problem was they had to get tanks to pull out the fire trucks because mm. there was such an angle that they couldn't even stop on a down angle with all the weight behind them. So yep. you get to a point where, yeah, the, but that's just like, that's why at least where I'm yeah. at, it's cold, but it's flat. Like right yeah. now, the so train going by me is higher than where I'm sitting. Yeah. Like, so we don't have that problem here. It's not bad. Like, in, like, I, like I said, I'm east of Buffalo by about an okay. hour. Buffalo, they get, oh my God, Buffalo gets it way worse. B Buffalo owes someone money in a past life. Like Jesus way Christ. worse, dude. They had a snowstorm so bad that you couldn't even see the tops of cars in the parking lot. Yeah, I remember. I saw that yeah. shit. 
it broke down doors in people's houses because it, it literally snowed up to their roofs. That's how bad Buffalo got. Now we have a place called the snow belt here and it's North of us, Northeast of us, because as many people in the world, if you're all over the world, you don't know, you could literally go to the very top of New York, drive for 14 hours and still be in the state. So, so we have a place up Northeast called the snow belt and it's brutal. It's like you said, it's flat, very flat. And then there's certain parts with Hills. So it goes from being flat and because it's so flat, it's really icy, really like co completely covered. You don't know where the ditches are. And then all of a sudden you go from that into mountains and hills. But it's also still really icy and snow filled. So you can go from being flat and thinking you got everything covered to all of a sudden you're on a freaking hill and you're moving too quick and you got no brakes now because it's icy downhill and you're sliding off and all this shit. So it's really dangerous out there. I don't like driving out there during the winter, but as a delivery driver, I had to do so. So it's like, you know, I don't do that job anymore, but back then it was terrifying. Like I remember white knuckling all the way through all my deliveries. It was crazy. See, and, and here's the thing, Kara, because you've worked construction too and stuff like that, because mm -hmm. at least here with construction, you do get your winter months off, right? Like that's it, yep. but you work like a dog from, you know, March oh, 31st don't. to <laughs> December 1st. Like, yeah. Oh but, no, we work all the way through. Oh, you guys so do, hey? You guys are Yeah, we don't get those shut months down off. And it gets too cold? No, no, no. Dude, I think it'll get down to, I've worked in, I've worked outside, I think in the coldest it's gotten when I was working outside, it was like negative 14, oh. I think is what it was. So I'm outside. I can't use gloves because I can't like hang on to the screws or anything. So I got to be able to screw thing in. We're building like a sliding glass door window somebody wanted to put in. Hands are completely frozen. And like to that point where it's like, it starts to feel like pinpricks like that cold so yeah. like yeah we don't get those months off dude you work straight through but yeah no yeah yeah <laughs> they, they, they shut us down here in canada because even with the heat too like yeah. i don't think you can be on our roof if it's over 30 degrees celsius here or 35 yeah it just gets it's... too damn hot because here like it could be 80 degrees outside but if you're on a roof it's like 120 easy but they also don't give a and they don't give a crap about that either they're like yeah. i need my roof screw it they send people up there they don't care here it's weird it's making which money. it's that's all construction yeah. is it's making money like you, yeah. you might have a great so, foreman but at the end of the day hopefully he's yeah. in charge but you don't work you don't get paid that's that's how it works here <laughs> so it's like yeah. and the faster they it. get the job done the more that yeah. they can fucking book so i don't mm -hmm. know I've, I've, I've i've played that game enough but that's the nice thing right but then you've got basically minimum wage throughout winter but this this yep. again goes back to my uh, my crazy thought about a universal income of thirty thousand dollars a year, and then I agree with you. We can we can all take winter off. We can work from home. We can chill the fuck out. I but... do know one thing they are trying here though, and people seem to like it, and I think it's going to spread like wildfire soon. They're starting to do the four ten hour days, and you get the three day yeah. weekend. Yeah, that's yeah, they love that here. It's it's a good. I would rather that. I would rather yeah. have a three Same. day. That's it. Same, and I I really thought about it. And I was like, I can easily work an extra two hours, two hours a day for, for four days. I can easily pull that off. That's I'm already working eight, just throw an extra two. Yeah. You know, I might be a little extra tired, but I get that third day. I get that Friday off. And with the kid coming, I could really use that extra day for whether it be doctor's appointments, making sure I got baby food, making sure the house is done up the way I need it to be, stuff like that. I could use that extra day, you know? I could use that extra day for rest as well. And if my wife needs that day for rest, well, I got that day off. I can take care of the kid while she's sleeping. Right. You know, that works for me. Well, so, and, and that goes back to that time thing, right? The more time I yeah. got, the better it is. But when you start a, I don't know. I just, cause that I thought about bringing that up where I'm working. Cause of um, the guy that I'm taking over for already cleaned out his desk. So I guess I'm getting the job. Nice. Um, but funny story. Okay. Sorry. Noble, we're sidetracking. So, <laughs> you remember the whole story with this job. So, for those of you who don't know, uh, long story short, I uh, I had applied for a parts manager job with mm -hmm. a farm distributor here in Manitoba. Um, I was a very close second, so they offered me another job uh, at about thirty thousand less. Um, the guy that got the job quit before my start date, and. Mm. I guess I'm getting it now because the other guy trusts me enough to take over. So uh, are you getting that $30,000 bump too? Or is it, they trying to keep you at that same price? 
that's what they're on vacation right now so we got to chat because a place that okay. is literally within walking distance of my house that does the mm -hmm. same thing it's just for john deere mm -hmm. put up the same job at the same at ninety thousand. so Ooh. let me and this is it like i got nothing against yep. people but this is and, and we're going to talk math right now because this is how my mind thinks uh-huh to go to this job now i've lost the vehicle well presumably uh -huh. um if I make at sixty thousand here, it's fifteen hundred every two weeks. Um, yep. So, if I do that, and I need a rental, two mm -hmm. weeks because rentals here are about a thousand a week. So start doing the math. I'm now four, out of vehicle, so I've got to get another vehicle, right, Carrie? That's all that math that yeah. you can do, or else I'm going to lose money on a rental. So yep. you go get a vehicle now. So now I'm in debt to work yep. a job. So I may be netting. 15 to 20,000 if I'm lucky, but I'm going to lose that to interest on a loan for a vehicle. Now, yep. I don't need a new vehicle. I can just go get a nice fucking truck, one vehicle, yep. right? Lady Dragon can drop me off, yep. pick me up. She can do her shit. Yep. And I can right work as road, long as so I want because I've got sandwiches, you, you know, within yes. walking distance. So, yeah. So we'll see how that goes. But I know ain't nobody because I didn't even know I've lived here for three years, dude. I didn't yep. know that place existed until like three weeks ago because I, I just randomly saw it as I was driving by. So, and not only that, out of personal experience, I know this because I work 10 minutes, 10 minute drive from my, my yeah. job, right? If you're right up the road and you can walk there, one, weather is not a factor. No. Unless it's really dangerous weather. Two, you can get every little ounce of extra sleep you need. <laughs> right up because you don't have to drive as far well and this is it and i usually yeah. get up early carrie but my problem was since i've stopped smoking i've put on yeah. weight right like that's just the natural yeah. selection of it all but mm -hmm. um and that's it but i haven't been working out because i'm working such long days and then i come home you know then you eat then it's you know 6 30 mm -hmm. i pop into Wait. your stream until i get a phone call and then i gotta fucking pop yeah. out and then before you know it it's 10 10 30 so yep. that's it um but i've been having to get up relatively early like earlier than i want to but yeah like even if i got up early i now have time yeah a decent amount of time to work out but like i said with the hour hour and a half uh yep. drive time because of deer and ice and shit it's it's got to be worth uh, the juice has got to be worth the squeeze but we'll see Dude, we'll see if i get a call from now? you what's that you see you think you're gaining weight now wait until oh, don't you go me. to have that little bun in the oven right and uh your wife is like oh man i'm really hungry but then she can only eat so much because that little guy is stepping on her stomach. <laughs> so, and then the rest of it goes to you. Now you gotta, you gotta eat that well, and then work that off. <laughs> like it's hard, dude. I'm like, Oh man. No, I'm going to put I'm, on well, the pounds. So we're going to get Ziploc containers. You might, you might <laughs> creator. How you doing? Welcome. What up creator? Walk boys in the building, but it's uh, doing good, doing good sympathy yeah, weight yeah. gain yeah well let's get this weight off sympathetically now and then i can add it on so at least i know the pants that i am currently yeah. wearing today will be the pants that i'll be wearing during the, the sympathy yeah. pregnancy but no it's i don't know dude like i said we've talked about it and i think because like you said and we'll, we'll we'll circle back to to what you talked about earlier and we're talking about the human condition uh mm -hmm. so that noble can find some fucking way to tie this all together um <laughs> But uh, if we're talking about the human condition, and that's it, you've just moved past, like we talked about, the aggression stage, you, mm -hmm. you know, the worrying about shit stage, because mm -hmm. now you've got enough shit on your plate to worry about that you don't worry about other stuff, right? The, yes. the, the, the caveman now has to hunt, cook, and, and provide. Like, it, it, it's all that. So I don't know, man, but it's cool. It's cool watching you... Uh, <clears throat> What a sympathy pregnancy? I don't know. I really hope not. Sympathy weight gain. Yeah, that's definitely a thing. That's for sure a thing. Like you see a lot of husbands gaining weight with the pre as the pregnancy progresses. All that's right, definitely right. a thing. We'll have to do a weigh in pre and post. Yeah. But like yeah. I I remember like probably about six months in, I was like, holy shit, I put on twenty pounds, and then I just started working out like Certainly. a madman. Who <laughs> just started working out like a madman? I was like, nah, bruh. I'm not, I, I took two years to get all this weight off from COVID. I'm not about to put this back on and then have to work two more years as hard as I can to get it back off. I'm doing this now. Carrie, so, I'm only losing weight one more time after that. It's Ozempic. Okay. Like I, yeah, yeah. I, I've played this game. I have taken either that, 
either that or I end up like the uh, the 50, 60 year old dad where everything else is completely in shape, but I got the beer gut just chilling out with my flip flops. I'm I'm okay with that now as well. Like almost like like that's you know, I it, feel like that's my guns, right of passage. The chest tattoo, wings, and just like that's it, and just the yeah. stomach, just, yeah. just stomach, like like Randy and freaking Trailer Park Boys. Yeah, that's but you all need I got. somewhere like, to rest the baby. It's actually just more efficient, right? Like that's very true. That's very true. Extra warmth and everything, man. I feel like that's my natural like rite of passage for for being the middle aged dad. I feel like I should be able to have that little bit of gut, but at the same time, I know how dangerous that can be. So it's like, shit, what do I do? See, but, <laughs> so. And this is it, but we've never really stopped to ask the women. And, and there's probably a couple in here. At least I hope my wife's got to mm -hmm. lie to me anyways and tell me that I'm attractive. So, but that's the thing, but do ladies, cause I know we had this conversation with someone before. I can't remember who. I thought we had this thing. Is that is that is that, no, is that an they, attractive they, thing? Some, but I guess everybody's got their preference. But some like mm -hmm. the dad bod over the, the you know possibly going to cheat on me bod, like you know. Yeah. And, I, and I always wondered that because maybe it's just the people that I've come from. But I come from yeah. thick people, so like when you were talking about GTA Six, mm -hmm. I guarantee you there was some sort of Latin descent in that man. <clears throat> oh, one hundred percent. It yeah. takes place in like Vice City, like Miami. Yeah. So, of course, one hundred percent there is. Yeah. But but that's it, right? Like so, everybody's got their type and their style, and that's yes. it. And I prefer a curvier over a stick, right? Like Yo, that's shout out to the mom bods for real. I gotta say that one hundred percent. Shout out to the mom bods. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yo. Being no one is ever gonna bitch about being smothered, and if they do, they're just nope. not the right human nope. being for you. It's cold here, bro. I need earmuffs. Right. Like that, and that's it. Right. <laughs> Right, <laughs> but but that said, and now someone from Florida is probably sitting there like some fucking poor, like just drenched in sweat, being like, "This is the worst. This is the worst. Why would you say that, Corgi? This is the worst." Yo, like, just showering oh in swass. But sorry for the dirty jokes on your podcast, <laughs> Matt. I don't give a shit. No one's gonna have to figure out what we can and cannot say. So I'm pretty Correct. sure it's all good. But. uh creators down there in Florida. and, and, and that's a creator and, and you know i i'm not gonna lie i was kind of thinking about you too and i was like okay but the thing is you guys got such sexy latin girls down there like i've either got and oh i'm gonna get myself in trouble so i'm just gonna shut up right there but you know what the uh, funny thing way, is Corgi? Yeah. go ahead you know what the funny thing is about where he's at most of the latin girls that you're talking about right descended from Puerto Rico, yeah, not far from Florida, moved up to my city, and then moved down to where he is. Yeah. <laughs> so they're from here, dude, most of them. <laughs> so it's crazy. I'm like, wait, how, wait, what? All right, well, there you go. But understand, I understand, creator. I know what you're saying. But, but let me put it this way. The salsa classes are paying off down there. That's all that's all to say. Cause I used to go down to Orlando every couple of years. And mm -hmm. uh yeah, that was that was a time. But mm -hmm. um but mm -hmm. no, but that's the thing. But I would Probably rather no and this is the thing, my body is adapted. I would rather be cold. I would rather have to put on layers than Ooh. be hot as shit and not sleep. Because nothing Ooh. okay. And I very much apologize to the women in here, and I'm sure. Okay, I'm just going to use some terms because fuck it at this point. The feeling of sweaty balls against my fucking leg drives That's me terrible. fucking mental. Like, I would I rather, will. like, pin up the boxers, kind of give it a little, you know, curl so I don't have to, you know, on it. But it's the same, right? You can't tell me that sweaty clam is a fucking feeling that women love. Like, come no, on no now, way. like. I don't Maybe know. some women, there's, there's, hey, there's something out there for everyone. Not going to say all, but probably not. See, and that's the creator's <laughs> looking at me because creator would rather have fizzy hair and fucking sweat. Like, I just, I can't, bro. I don't know why. Like, there's just something like, I feel, I here's feel the more thing. comfortable in long johns than I actually know. I do have nice legs. If there is one thing <laughs> I am proud of, I do not have chicken legs. It's so, a rugby player in you, dude. That's what it is. I'm telling you. You know what? And that's it. But every day is a squat. <laughs> yeah. Creator, yeah. <laughs> creator's, creator's done with me. Fuck. I just lost another viewer. God damn. But no. It's so, uh, but no. 
but that's it i just can't man like i remember i when i went to orlando i had one of those i was the asshole with the little like dollar fucking spin on like double a mm -hmm. battery fan just being mm -hmm. like ah, this is the worst this is an experience of a lifetime but eh. <laughs> like, you know it's just fuck. so here's the thing i am the complete opposite okay so my wife right we here, i'm gonna explain something to you we still have our air conditioners in our windows right now mm -hmm. right now right now she will turn those on and then turn on a ginormous, like almost a uh, factory level floor fan. Factory while level. She, while she, while she sleeps. You know, the big industrial yeah, fans. Yeah, like yeah, those. definitely got yeah. one downstairs. Yeah. Almost, almost that size, not quite, but she will turn that on when she sleeps, right? She will turn that on. And I'm like, dude, you're killing me. So you see this jacket right here that I'm wearing? Yep. Little fleece line jacket. I stay with this on all the time, even back here where I'm streaming. My house is constantly at about 52 degrees Fahrenheit all the time. All Even in the winter, it's cold as hell. There'll be times where I'll come in from a winter day and I'm like, it's colder in my house than it is outside. And that's the way she likes it. Me, on the other hand, I could do 109 degrees and muggy and be completely fine. No sweat broken wow. at all. No, like, that's no, how I operate. No. Like... We would play games, we'd play rugby games in 95 degree and muggy heat. And they're like, you're not even sweating. Okay. What is wrong with you? And I'm just out running people. And I'm like, this is my operating temperature. Anything above this, I'm down for. See, that's the thing. But you guys got a yeah. little different heat. Like yeah. where you're at, you've at least got breeze off water. We have nothing. Correct. You know what surrounds me? Another mm -hmm. province, another province, <laughs> a fucking yep. icicle, and then yeah. fucking North Dakota. So like, like there have been times where I've gone down south, right? Full jean, it'd be hot as hell, muggy as hell. Full jeans, black t-shirt, fitted cap, just walking around, no problem. People are looking at me like I'm insane, insane. So like I can do the heat, I just can't do the cold, man. I'm not built for it. That's weird. I'm not. I'm not, I don't know, know what it is. I'm not built for it. My dad's like, you've been living here for thirty nine years. Thing. Like bro. I would assume, like. You're just always in hoodie weather. Like, that's it. Yeah. But here, I want to solve a lot of your problems because there's one thing that I mm -hmm. never thought, and this is an invention. We talk a lot about fucking sliced bread, but mm -hmm. something has to be said for the ceiling fan in a bedroom. Like, I have oh, never yeah. had one until I moved in with Tracy. And mm -hmm. geez, man, that is like my, my old boss told me about it. And he's like, honestly, you'll never need an air conditioner. Like, we have it. But uh, hang on. Y'all keep you y'all can keep waking up two to three hours early to shovel your driveway and scrap the ice off your buddy. I got command start and fucking neighbors with tractors. Like that shit yep. is not we have adapted, like yep. you know, it, it's it's we, we got start. a system, bro. We got a system. Plow systems, we got plows coming in. We're good. Yeah. We're good. And then you're in a tractor sitting over an engine. No no fucking the only jacket thing. on, and you're just fucking John Deering it, and that's it. Where am I dumping it? Anywhere. Yep. Dude, you just it. you just actually reminded me of a joke that I <laughs> I told one of the construction guys, right? So we were installing a ceiling fan above somebody's bed. And the ceiling was a little low. Oh. I was like, "Ah, uh, I hope nobody's riding anything while on this bed because they're going to get their head chopped off." Right? And he just starts dying, dude. And I'm like, "Bro, <laughs> yeah, they might need a lower bed, bro. They might they might Oh, fuck. And then bro uh, walks in with his midget girlfriend and you're like, okay, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it. Fuck. Ah, I wasn't expecting you to say that. I, I, that's the first thing I saw. And I was going to be like, watch, he's just there and she's just below. As long as she doesn't have her hair up in a bun, we're fucking rocking and rolling, boys. Oh, my God. Could you imagine that? She ends up with a Dr. Phil because she wasn't careful with her hair in the ceiling fan. Oh, oh my God, dude. Fuck, I've been falling down rabbit holes of like weird shit. Like, well, and 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 Lady Drag was talking about it yesterday because we've been watching. You get you guys get on patrol live, I'm guessing, on your like regular yeah. cable. I fucking love that shit. Like oh that is that is fucking money. And the best part is one of the first episodes, because everybody's yeah. like, why are you guys doing this? And he looks at the cameras, his hands are handcuffs. Because too many of us black folk keep bitching at him that we're, they're beating us. And I sat there and I'm like, holy fuck. What but, the fuck? Yeah. And Dude, that's basically, 
the next generation cops. That's all it is. But that's the thing. But that's how they started monitoring, right? Because now everybody yeah. wants to be there. And at least like, and I'm not going to say every cops are dirtbags, but there are a lot of cops that are fucking dirtbags. Like I'm going to sit yep. here and say that now, because we got the same thing here. We, uh, there's a problem with, you know, well, it's not a problem. Um, there's a lot of prejudice against the indigenous com community here in Manitoba. Like it's just, okay. there's a lot of reserves and stuff. So, you know, it's, but I get you. We're kind of one of the same here. Yeah. yeah. It's the same thing. Same shit. So, but it's just uh, a border that separates us. That's it. That's it. Yeah. It's the basically magical the same line shit. that we can't cross without yeah. permission. Yeah. Ugh. Like I said, this it's, is like... uh, this is a weird, weird world, but unfortunately we got to keep people alive so that they can spend money. Yeah. 100. Yeah, you know? Yeah. That makes sense. Back to the sheep. The Back thing. to the sheep. Yeah. That right. <laughs> makes Back sense. Back to the sheep. Get I can't even drunk. say anything because I'm one of them. That's the crazy but the, but part the about thing the whole is, thing. At least you can recognize, like, because yeah. I'm not going to sit here. Like, I've been talking to Dodge dealerships all fucking week. Like, I'm the same asshole as you, buddy. But, yeah. right, I'm at a point now where I could just not work there. I could make less money, but I can't make less money and support my family. Like, this is the problem, you know? So yeah. I got to make, but like I said, if that place down the street fucking calls me, I might have to throw in shoot and just be like, I really yeah, appreciate dope. everything, but I got a I got a place that's literally right down the street that does yeah. the same thing and pays me more money. But yep. but yeah. now that you said you're talking to Dodge dealerships, let's talk about a term that doesn't get used in our country, but I'm assuming gets used in yours. Dickering. Most people don't know about that shit. What? Dickering? Dickering? Dickering. It's a it's like a thing. It was it was a whole letter Kenny episode about it. Basically, um, talking people down on price. That's that's the, the correct term, I guess, is what's been used for all of history has been dickering. I have let's you can look this up. I guarantee you. Okay. I'm down. I'm, I'm sure you. it's I I I'm not discounting you in any way here. See, I just we called it haggling where I came from. Yeah, that's, that's basically what it is. Yeah. Dickering. Hang on. If I Engage get a bunch of arguments on parking. here, man, like no D dick er -ing. yeah I, i'm yeah engage in petty argument dicker, or bargaining. Yeah, to engage yeah to dicker she advised him not to dicker over the extra fee yeah there was literally a Wait, whole show i feel like about you got this. a dicker for the extra fee <laughs> but, uh, yeah. i saw it from a mile away i, I couldn't trippy welcome in How bro doing, i bro? lobbed it i threw that Happy softball so freaking high on an arc and Corgi's just like, show a Atani, dude. This is fucking gone, bro. Bro, I'm, it's I'm gone. It's going six hundred feet. Today's a good day, bro. I'm feeling good. I got a nice, good fucking early workout. I got my Tim Hortons oh. double double. Like we're we're we're, we're fucking rocking. Yeah. But, uh, so yeah, that's that's, that's a whole year. thing. Happy New Year, brother. Letter Kenny did like a whole episode where they literally went into a dealership and they were like, "Oh, I'm the king of Dickerin," and then he just bargained down the price on this truck. It was crazy. It was literally a whole episode. And then I looked up the word and I realized there was a show. You know how they do like antiques, but it wasn't really antiques roadshow. It was kind of like a um, bargain hunting. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. But it, the name of the show was Dickering something. Some I forgot what it was. And I remember seeing that and I'm like, that's a weird word. So I started watching the show and they're basically just like going to a farmer's market and bargaining like Amish people down on wood wooden products and shit. Okay, that's pretty much what it was. Let's let's explain the entire context. So it was eleven thirty at night. You passed a couple mm -hmm. foxes and you saw dickering on TV, and you were like, "No, yeah, I gotta watch that." Yeah, yeah, I, I, I yeah, at least I'm gonna check, check that out. I at least gotta I gotta check, check it out, dude. <laughs> I gotta check it out. But that's the thing. I'm like looking yeah, at it. Here, brother. But it was on like the like not A and E. It was on like one of those showcase, channels that, probably. Like, yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> it was on one of those channels that was kind of like Food Network. You know what I mean? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It was on. So I'm like, what the? F Why would they put that on this channel? That's weird. That I believe it believes it's supposed to be on Showtime or HBO. Okay. Late okay. Night yeah. Some yeah. Shit. But but you know that's what I was thinking. I'm like that's kind of weird. So I checked it out. Yeah, it's basically like uh, the barnyard finds type thing. Like where somebody finds an old Camaro in a barnyard or something. Yeah. Or a barn or something. So that's that. Yeah, that's how I found out about that word. And I was like, huh. 
okay. I don't say it a lot because people look at me weird, obviously, as your chat is like just ripping on me about it. But, you know but, what? But... At least I know with my chat, the people in here are cool with that kind of shit. They're, yeah. they're, they're human beings in here, and I appreciate all of you again. Just if we could take a second, <laughs> thank you guys again. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's very much appreciated that you guys keep coming in here all the time and, uh, and supporting us talk the absolute craziest shit. And again, oh, we promised Noble that next week we will fucking pick a topic and stick to it. So, uh, it's very hard. Noble. I'm sorry. All I know is I can go off on tangents left and right. Well, I you, know that you can't put us in a room. We've, we've, we've explained this so many times, but anyways, it is what yeah. it is. And, I had to explain uh, to somebody you, a big rock boys salute to the rock boys for always having our backs here. Heck Very yeah. much appreciate. I'm actually going to have to have you guys on again. I'd really like to you guys to come on and fucking another oh, that'd episode. Be fun. That'd be so fun. I, I haven't been around to listen to you. And if you guys, are you guys still live Tuesdays, 4 30 PM CST Instagram live? If you guys aren't watching uh, like or tuning well. in to the rock boys, all that podcast. But so uh, I had to explain to people why i constantly get yelled at at funerals like this is a yeah, life i feel like that is me. something you do have to explain sir so yeah go ahead so i get yelled at not all funerals probably about 75 percent of the funerals i go to i get yelled so at normal. either by my mom or somebody else in my family right because i strike up conversations with people that are there and the conversations kind of go like the one we're having right now. So there's a lot of laughter, loud, boisterous, like yelling and all of that. Not in the funeral home. We're being respectful, of course, outside. But you can still hear us inside. So my mom usually comes over and is just like, freaking stop it. Stop it. You know, and I'm just like, what? This is how I process grief. I laugh. I have a good time. I try to do that for everybody else as well so that maybe the grief is a little less burdensome on their heart. You know what I'm saying? That's how I get down. So I would appreciate it if when I go, when that time is, hopefully sometime 140 years from now, that they would do the same thing for me. You know what I'm saying? I've already explained to people that when I go, I want them to light up blunts, take a few puffs and put it in my front breast pocket and then leave, you know, some bottles of liquor in the casket. So I got something to party with when I get up to the great beyond, you know what I'm saying? I've already, I've already explained this to people. Brother, so I will happily spend a night in the slammer in the States to celebrate your life. That would be an honor. That'd be incredible. I would greatly appreciate that. I mean, you, I would rather you not be in the slammer for that, but well, I, you I, know, <laughs> I, I am eligible to apply to go back to the States in like Hell six yeah, months. Dude, that'd be so, so Nice, let's go. I hope it goes well for yeah. you. But well, it'd be really nice to go to fucking if I gotta go to Mexico and we gotta stop, I'm not allowed to stop in the States. So that you, could you, be gotta, you just gotta stay on the plane. Is that what's the thing? <laughs> Hide in the bathroom and hope no one checks, brother. Yeah. Lady Dragon puts you in her suitcase. <laughs> Until you gotta get on the plane again. Trippy, have you been oh. doing the fucking cold cold bath plunges? Like I wanna be shot uh, out of a well, cannon, shot out of into, cannon the into the Arctic, Arctic. Ocean. Oh Fuck. my god. If you, can, if you can narwhals. shoot me the other way, that'd be great. Like towards Arizona or something for a week and a half would be fucking yeah. beautiful. So yeah, I mean, I get yelled at at funerals because I apparently get people going. You know, but, I wind people up. Apparently, I'm very good at winding people up. You are. There, there, there's a reason we do this show. But let me ask <laughs> yeah. you this then: out of uh -huh. because again. Getting yelled at, like, I can tell you I have never been yelled at at 100% of the funerals I've been at. But yeah, are the 70% of funerals that you're yelled at, how much of that is your mom yelling at you, though? Um, I would say a majority of it was my mom. She's very, like, my mom is cool, and she has, you will see hints of me in her during party time, right? Yeah, you was cutting diamonds over there. Yeah, <laughs> but freaking, you will see hints, hints like during like Christmas parties, Thanksgiving parties, and everything. There are hints of my personality that you see that I'm like, all right, I got some of this from her, but not like my dad. If you met my dad, you would know. And creator has he's known my dad for a long time. 
he knows like that personality this is what you're seeing right here that is my dad's personality 100 you could swap me and my father out on this podcast and you've had the same result <laughs> so it's well, like I, I would love to talk to your pops one day man i'd love to get oh, to be pops. freaking nuts we might be able to make that happen somehow i just got to make sure that he's like straight in his gaming that. console like that's it i just oh, want to see what a giant shell racing console that's it. <laughs> We might, we might, I'll ask him. We might be able to make hey, that happen. Fuck, I'm down. But um, yeah, so she, during funerals, she gets like, or during serious stuff, she gets like really like, A, this is how we need to act. Don't, you know, that type stuff. She gets there. So she gets upset. My wife, to a degree as well, is like, hey, can we chill this out a little bit? Can we, can we just dial it back a little for once in your life? And I'm like, no, it's all... I only know two speeds. It's all go or no go. I was going to say, I, I can't like, imagine that you got much of an indoor voice. So No, but, I don't. I've been told that actually at work. They were like, this dude's just naturally loud. But I'm the same, like, man. <laughs> I've, I've, got, I've got an inner ear problem. I can't tell if I'm yelling or, or not. But, uh, yeah. but uh, you know, no, but that's... So let me ask you this then. Uh-huh. Have you ever been yelled at at a funeral by someone other than a family member? No. Okay. They've so all participated like, like in if, my if magic. If 10% are priests, this might be a you thing, Carrie. Like, I'm sorry yeah, to tell you. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is, they see all the other people when they're not like, you know, I, I don't do it if people are obviously sobbing their eyes out. You know, that's a, hey man, I hope everything's all right. Yeah, I can dial it back then. But if people are willing to engage in my madness, oh, do I take it to that level? Like, I'm just like, oh, we're, we're going to chill. We're going to chill. You know, we're going to have fun today. All right. Trippy's got a question here. And I yeah. definitely feel that after uh, 70% of the funerals you've been at, you've been yelled at. Have you ever tried to crash a funeral? No. No, I haven't. But yeah. I have crashed. Hold on. Oh, I okay. have crashed college courses. I have done that. Okay. But I've never crashed a funeral. I've crashed a wedding. I've done that. So <laughs> here would be the thing. Yeah. Now, if we were to crash a funeral, uh -huh. I can only see one way of doing this. Like, well, mm -hmm. there's two ways, right? Mm -hmm. The best way would be to swap out the body, hop in the casket, oh, and just arrested. be like, "Gotcha." But Straight to prison. the next one, <laughs> right? So like, if we have not prison, at least hell. Like, fuck one yeah. of the two. Yeah. But that's it. And the other one would be to disguise yourself as the priest. And be like, you guys got to do this shit all over again. Because I know <laughs> I, I grew up Roman Catholic. Like those Portuguese funerals are four fucking hours, man. Oh, my because God. Because they do two hours in Portuguese, then two hours in English. Bro, I wouldn't even be mad if somebody did that at my funeral. I wouldn't. I'd actually encourage it. I wouldn't even be mad. Well, obviously, I'm dead, so I can't be mad. But... I would hope that somebody would do that. I feel My that your wife, family would hand, be a little more okay with it than anybody else's family. You would be surprised at that one. There might be some murders that take place, but especially for my wife. If that happened and my wife happened, oh, Jesus Christ, dude. Jesus Christ. I would be like, yeah, dude, let's go. That is the craziest thing ever. For some reason, I am just about everything crazy that you could possibly do. I don't know. Everything. Everything. Well, and, and that's just, and who cares about anything if you're dead, right? Okay, Trippy yeah. does make a valid point. <laughs> like, that's true. Because who cares about anything if you're dead? If now, there is an afterlife, and that's the thing, because if there is an afterlife, much like you, yeah. Carrie, yeah. if I was watching from above, I would be like, that was fucking the best. That was freaking Thank epic. You. Thank you. Now, here, I will say this, and this might, might satisfy you guys' idea of me about animals. When I die, if you guys chose to weekend at Bernie's me down the running of the bulls, I probably wouldn't care. I would probably encourage that as well. But I, I, I gotta <laughs> tell you that that hasn't been discussed, but I'm pretty sure this has been discussed behind your back at some of and some. Oh my like god, <laughs> if you guys did that, I would be like, acceptable. That's ex completely I can get a acceptable that we can behavior. On. Yeah, we can find something. Just like, just, 
the PBR, I'm strapped to the top of a bull. You can just see my body just flipping back and forth like a mannequin. We'll get a for cowboy no reason. hat and a giant belt <laughs> buckle for you. It'll, it'll be fuck. I'm gonna send you a picture later. I've actually got a cowboy that rides on the back of the corgi and he goes like that. It's yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, that's awesome. It. The, that's it. That's You'd have it. to accept it, you dead son. I know. That's why I'm saying if there's an after beyond and I'm looking down and any of this happens. Just know that I'm up there cheering and watching all of this go down as a movie. Just know this, you know, if any of that goes down. So, yeah, I just, I don't care at that point. At that point, I'm up there partying with Craig Ferguson and whoever else, and this is the end. <laughs> like, like okay. Backstreet Boys are playing. This friggin'... is the end? Mm-hmm. As far as movies go. That one yeah. is going to be a generational movie like that. Oh, 100%. Like, I watch it once every month or so. I'm sorry. And that's the thing. And the other one that I always, um, shit, what's the other one with, um, where they, in, or they go to, uh, Korea to, uh, Oh, the interview. Movie. Yeah. The interview is amazing. It was it's, an amazing movie. Fuck my, my brain's gone, but you know, outside of, you know, the Francos and whatever they did, you know, yeah. I don't condone any of that, but the movie itself was phenomenal. Yeah, but that, I don't know, man. It seems to be, uh, I can't tell if it's more rampant or just more public now with that shit. Yeah, like, probably both. Yeah. Probably a mixture. And that's it. So what if we pour <laughs> beer down your bed, Corey? When you, hang on, sorry. I got to learn how to read English here, Trivi. Give me a, give, give me a minute. Uh, if we pour beer you pour down beer your down dead corpse. And it gets you drunk in the great hole. Oh, hey, okay. I'm down for it. So here's the theory. Because it's gotta be every cognac, cartoon though. we've seen, even Futurama, when uh-huh. a skeleton, a robot, anything drinks, right? You can take the beer down and it goes down. But that is good. Does it transverse dimensions? Oh, maybe. Fuck. Maybe. I mean, they do Dia de los Muertos, so they put the food out with the uh, the marigold petals and everything. So that the but next... do they feed the statue? I, no like i feel if they fed the statue like we'd be like th- th- this would be taken to a whole other level like oh yeah i mean you would have to well you guys wouldn't have to deal with it whoever would have to deal with it because you know the embalming fluid I, i'm hoping people know that process it would just be stuck in me like that that, that alcohol would just be there until my body breaks down so, so alcohol is transcending on this recorded podcast Gary, that should shit happen this way i can at least show evelyn so she uh-huh. at least knows oh she that... knows i've told her all this okay fantastic because yeah if yeah. we embalm you with a bunch of liquor bro like if, if we feel you full of cuban rum like are you gonna be like upset with us like <laughs> no i don't care that's, that's the thing we'll have you riding like, a bull in fucking somewhere in barcelona we'll have you and then fucking just i'll just pop out of your casket out of at your funeral being like we got him on a bull bitches <laughs> like yeah, fuck. I just have Paul Bears. It's just like a hundred corgis carrying my casket down the street. Bro, I'm I can make that shit happen. And, and fuck, and, and that's the other thing. I, I was joking. If, uh, if Frank still had his fucking cojones there, it'd be. Uh, we should probably be breeding them. But uh, I was oh even talking because the one breed of dog I haven't had that I still want to have because I used to have Dobermans. I trade Doberman shepherds, all kinds of yeah. things. But for me. I don't know, man. I, I want a Roddy. I, I, I really like They're really Rottweiler. dope dogs, dude. They're yeah. really dope dogs. I had one as a kid. Um, They're big as hell, though. I but they are really good them. family dogs. Um, Strong. Very loyal. Um, Unfortunately, here in the States, I don't know how it is up in Canada, there's like three dogs that, that nice. if you have them, insurance companies will not insure your house. Really? No, we don't have Rottweilers. As far as I know, we don't have that. Yeah, it's Rottweilers, Dobermans, and Pitbulls. Pitbulls, including American Staffordshire Terriers and American Bull Terriers. See, and this is the thing, because we just have a straight ban. Like, if you're Mm -hmm. within city limits, you are not allowed to have a Pitbull. A full bear. And that's how people have got it. Like, my Dobermans were fine. Uh, Mm -hmm. My cousin actually used to breed Rottweilers, like, way back in the day, so he had a big one. And he was trying to show them like as long as they're trained because mm-hmm. he used to be able to put like he used to put a potato chip in his mouth and onyx used to come and you would just see this giant face like just drool yeah. on him but like but the kids used to ride him like a horse like you know what i mean oh, yeah. like they're that's great it. family dogs but that but dog fighting right like that's it stupid yeah. people causing stupid problems for 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 poor animals but that's yep. it it's but here 
Uh, Dobermans are cool, but if you have a pit bull mix, like actually Kane, Kane's a shepherd mm-hmm. pit, uh, American pit bull uh, cross. So, yep. and that's it. As long as I've got a cross, but out here, I could have a full pity. Like that's because yeah. I'm not in the city anymore. But yeah, I don't know. I yeah, think yeah. that's, I can so see you that have and I can see why, but. Yeah, you could definitely have them. But if you're going to own a house, like you can't have them. You know what I mean? Like you can't because insurance will cancel your insurance. And then you're stuck in a house with no insurance. And if you're paying a mortgage, then you got to find new insurance. It's a whole hassle. So yeah, a lot I was going to say, like, are you guys allowed to mortgage a house without insurance? Because we no, it's we're mandatory not. to have fire insurance on houses this year. Yeah, we have to have insurance. Like okay. if if we had already poor, uh, paid off the mortgage, it wouldn't have been as bad of a problem. It would just we'd be screwed if anything happened. Yeah. But if you have a mortgage on the house, you have to have insurance on that mortgage. That is law. So it's one of those things where like, do I want to take the chance and then be screwed and lose my mortgage and lose my house and all that shit? Nah, I'm not going to do that. But as far as pit bulls, Rottweilers and Dobermans, they're amazing family dogs. They, they will defend your family to the bitter end. They will make sure that like your house is safe. They are cool around children. Now in saying that, I would never leave a child around any dog by themselves unless i knew they were you know responsible because children do things like pull ears and yeah you know pull fur and everything and they might aggravate that dog in a way where he's just like hey i'm just trying to make sure i'm cool and he might nip that kid and it could be a bigger problem you know what i'm saying so i would never even if i trusted that dog 100 percent, i'm never leaving a child alone with an animal I'm just not doing it because See, I know how kids but are. But this is the thing, Carrie, and this is another yeah. thing. I've been talking to Lady Dragon about this because, you know, I find it ridiculous that there's no test, a basic test of intelligence. Like you mm-hmm. proved right there why you're mm-hmm. allowed to have a child. But the yes. problem is you need to take a test to have a driver's license, but you can mm-hmm. basically fuck at will because, again, you're going to make a sheep that's going to spend the money that's going to do this, right? Like, mm-hmm. and that's mm-hmm. it. But no, I, 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 and, and that's the thing, but I don't, yeah, it's, it's it, like, it bugs me. I love my dogs, yeah. but I also know that my dogs have certain personalities. You, you, you know that Your as pet... you raise a puppy has a personality. So you know what pushes that dog's buttons, just like, you know, what pushes your little human's buttons and your little human is still figuring things out. So they don't necessarily pick up on, Hey, his fur is raised on the back of his back. Hey, his tail's pointing straight out. Hey, his teeth are showing. Hey, these are all not good things that I should be doing right now. I don't understand that I'm annoying this dog and the dog could snap and bite the kid on the face, really seriously injure that kid. There's this context, you know, contextual clues that these kids at that young as a toddler are just not used to picking up on quite yet. So it's like, that to me is a dangerous city uh, situation waiting to happen. Oh, definitely. So it's like, 100%. I'd rather not, you know, that's why everybody's like, yeah, you got to get a dog when the kid's little and they can grow up together. And I'm like, how about I get a dog when I know my kid is responsible enough to read those contextual clues and be able to have the responsibility of taking care of the dog so that I don't have to, especially when I was promised that I wouldn't have to. That type of shit. But that's it. But you've at least got enough of a thought process to think that through. Because uh, and, yeah. and again, I've been watching a lot of On Patrol live lately, and yeah. you know, there there are some people there like just yeah boggles my mind what they like their kids like upside down in a car and they were smoking crack and that's why the truck's upside down and yeah, they don't know how the nah. crack got in their pocket or their pipe and in their mouth. Like fuck. Nah, dude, you can't do that. Like it's it got it's got it's gotten to the point now where I started thinking about that type of stuff a lot. I was like, all right, listen, I'm gonna have to plug up all my electrical sockets. I'm gonna have to do all this. I gotta like put locks on You gotta on get the... the fucking ties for the cabinets. You gotta yep, get the all the ties for the cabinets. Shit. I gotta get all the, the door handle things where they can't turn the freaking door handle, you know? I gotta get all that stuff. Like I'm starting to think about all of this. And I'm like, shit, I forgot like these, I got to go into a mode where you're a baby for an hour and you got to see how much shit you can get into. Like, Yeah, pretty much. And that's the thing. I'm like, I got to go into a mode where this little human doesn't know anything yet. So I can't be like, are you kidding me? You, how do you not know? They don't know. I, it, I That's my yeah. job. My job is to teach them, hey, you need to know this. Be careful. Think it through. And they're not. They're kids. They're never going to. So it's like... 
it's one of those things where I'm like, ah, shit. All right, well, well, we'll figure it out again, buddy. I, I bet you won't do it that again. <laughs> but, you know, that type of thing. So well, and that's it, because my dad used to be uh, pretty firm on letting me learn the hard way. But yeah, uh, but that was it. Like, I remember uh, it, it was I can't remember six or seven, but I wanted mm -hmm. to test fate with the element on the stove. So what Ooh. I had done, Carrie, is mm -hmm. it was like, all, so I put it on low and my dad saw me and he sat at the kitchen table just watching this because my mom was at home and my dad liked to fuck with me a little bit. Uh -huh. So And that was it. And he said, don't do it. And of yeah. course I was because my dad just told me not to do it. So I went, like, yeah. you know, I was just a little bit. And then yeah. what did I do? Just Burn. enough. So yep. not only did I get smacked in the back of the head burnt my hand but then i got mm -hmm. smacked in the back of the head again because i got mm -hmm. i left evidence that he would get in shit now with my mom so yep. and that's it but no i i took i took a lot of wooden spoons over the back of the head back of the ass yep. and i think For did, me, have was, this, uh... did i have this conversation with you maybe it was noble yeah i think you actually and then told my me grandma about upgraded to the slipper from fucking sand and that was in those uh -huh. rubber slippers yeah that was yep. it. the chanala she fucking came and just beat the shit out of me oh my oh it's that's what it's called in your uh... portuguese yeah the chanala here it's uh what, what do we what do we call it creator spade what it's it's the uh the chancla that's what it is See, that even sounds meaner <laughs> man like that's like a maori bat <laughs> dude pretty much but for me it was matches dude like i oh when you i was were like a pyro. I think I, okay six or seven six or seven years old and i found we my dad had just bought this rental property right just brought this rental property so for some reason there was a book of matches upstairs and i'm like huh i wonder what this is so i started playing with it and i was like flip and the match just caught fire, <laughs> landed on this green shag carpet, but I also oh, burned myself. Fuck. Yeah. So I was like, uh oh, and I immediately had the wherewithal to stomp it out. But my mom smelled the carpet burning. It was like, what's going on upstairs? Run upstairs. She sees me with a book of matches, smacked in the back of the head, told my dad I was in trouble for a little bit. See, and I was like, is, oh. And this is the thing the 70s were a dangerous time. Like, you could yeah. drop a cherry, and because of shag carpeting, and velour mm -hmm. wallpaper you would have mm -hmm. been engulfed in seconds right like oh yeah fuck like oh yeah it's crazy dude we had lawn darts i remember well i was remember when lawn lady darts. dragon the other day and that's how we got rid yeah. of stupid kids yeah we had lawn i remember when lawn darts became illegal i remember i remember when they when they started make when they stopped making them with the metal tips the, the freaking missiles yeah yeah I had those long beyond when they were illegal. My grandparents had them up in there. Me and my brother played with them all the time. Never got hurt. Never got hit. Nobody went to the hospital. Nothing. I'm like, how is this a thing? Yeah, but that was like, you remember cap guns? Like, I used to love my yeah. cap gun. But then some dumb fuck put the little, uh -huh. like, fucking revolver rounds in his pocket. And uh -huh. they caught. Like, yeah, yep. wow. Like I said, <laughs> if you end up getting tattooed by some... You remember okay. the commercials when, and I, and I don't remember when they stopped, but it just, they all disappeared. They were maybe too graphic, but you remember the commercials of the kids that used to like get run over by lawnmowers, like they're yeah. they were playing catch. And then all of a sudden they're in the back of a fucking combine, like, you know, just the wildest shit or that little robot that like, I can put my arm back on. You can't. Yeah. I don't know if you guys had that. Oh yeah. That was on NBC. We did. Yeah. Cause yeah, that we was had that. the knowledge is power fucking yep. little star there the after Wheel of Fortune. Freaking... Yeah. The little freaking rainbow yeah, yeah you know exactly what I'm but that's the thing so not only with those right not only with those but the dare to keep kids off drugs commercials the weed commercials i would i remember as a kid being like this is the dumbest shit i've ever seen in my life freaking i don't madness. think anybody would ever do this to be honest with you there's no freaking way there's no way no the gun ones i get yeah that, that happens yeah, there's kids got, who accidentally shoot people all the time with that shit yeah that i understand but the weed one i'm like yo okay yeah i do want to sit down and go to sleep after i smoke whenever that happens not as much lately but i'm not running kids over in the mcdonald's drive through because i'm high well and, and this i'm not is doing it. that and yeah. as someone who's dealt with a lot of human pieces of garbage throughout the mm -hmm. days i can tell you I am least concerned about weed. I have never sat there, smoked a bunch of weed. Okay, only weed. Uh, yeah. And said, you know, I'm I'm going to go out there and rip someone's face off. Um, no. I'm going to go rob a bank. 
for more weed like you know it's it's never done that shit like that but booze like i still think booze is one of the worst i think yeah you've got to learn to moderate alcohol like if you can't you're, you're gonna live a rough life because again just watch on patrol live and tell me that these people were not drunk and high at the same time but anyways probably meth booze it's all the same but weed i think is the thing we need to worry about the least um yeah anything that sedates a human being and lets them sit there because i'm still okay first there's no money in it and this is the problem this is why your country doesn't like it because now we're finding out here it's not like i i think north america needs to come to terms with the way that even portugal right like and we talked yeah. about you know low crime rate and everything's legal i can go to a smart shop and go and get science engineered heroin and if i want to mm -hmm. come off it they'll put me into a clinic in which mm -hmm. i go into a halfway house they drive me to and from work and they rehabilitate mm -hmm. me to society and you know methadone as long as i need it yeah but you've always got someone that's got your back right you're not just automatically going to be possessed and, and, and imprisoned so and i yeah. think that's a problem with both of our countries like even when i watch like oh, if we're going to start talking about op live here but even when I watch that, right, it's and it's the same, right? Like, bro, how yeah. much weed did you have on you? Okay, well, whatever, a quarter, okay. And then yeah. they, they neglect to talk about the, you know, ball of crack that they had sitting in uh -huh. their pocket and then they get mad about it, right? Like, yeah. I don't know. It's, it's, we, but that's, we've that's lost our thing. way. But like I said, if, again, if the wolves, the human wolves, could mm -hmm. take out the human sheep. Yeah. The wolves would be better. Yes. Because honestly, like if, and this is like the kangaroos in, in Australia, like I didn't understand sport hunting. Like I have no appeal to it because I've always had a grocery store. Like, but yeah. even if I go hunting, it's going to be with a bow and arrow. It's not going to be with, uh, I don't know. Now that, now that fucking Bambi decided to be a fucking hood ornament, I might go fucking buy myself a rifle in a few years, but it, it's never been anything I feel like I needed, right? Yeah. Like, and that's it, because I, I can do what I need to do with my hands generally, but it's, um, but yeah, no, out here it's sport hunting is just that thing, but now I understand it because if we ate more venison and we were allowed to sell venison and stuff in store, yeah, mm -hmm. we would probably wipe everything out because now we have to keep feeding the sheep, right? And it's yeah. the same with cattle. Cattle's only same good deal. if they're fat and if you can sell it by the pound, yep. right? So That somewhat... means everything caribou related would be decimated in Canada, dude. Well, even elk, man. Have you ever had <laughs> elk? Elk is oh, yeah. fucking delicious. Oh, like... yeah. Dude, I just had it in, um, um, my wife just bought me a, like a, you know, Slim Jims? Yeah. She's bought me a pack of Slim Jims. One had alligator meat, elk meat, buffalo meat, kangaroo meat, ostrich meat. Like it was all delicious. I really hope this is somewhere on Amazon because I'm. Uh, let me buy ask that. my wife. Let me ask my wife. I will ask her exactly where she got it from, and I'll please, DM you where the website because it was freaking. It was incredible. She just bought my dad like a package of beef jerky that'll probably last him five years. Nice. Okay. It's insane. I, I'm not gonna lie. Every time you talk about Evelyn, she seems just like the most wonderful human being in the she world. Is. And again, wow, you guys have been together how long? Didn't you say like two decades? Yeah, yeah. So this up as I put you on the spot there. <laughs> this, no, no, no. This upcoming <laughs> November will be our 20th year of marriage. Nice, man. Yeah. There's, there's a lot of applause for 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 the C Note family today, buddy. You guys, uh, Thank you, you know, pops is walking. <laughs> sisters yep. popping them out you're getting ready to receive like we, yep. we got uh evelyn's out here giving fucking jerky and pepperettes to the world i love it yeah well hold on i need to tell this story first right oh, do your thing brother so as we're trying to think of a christmas gift for my father and this was during the time i was sick so i like i yeah, damn, i thought i was gonna die from laughter i thought i was going to die right so She's trying to think of something to get my dad. And she says, how about beef jerky? And I was like, he would love that. It's protein. He needs that to build his muscles to get stronger, to be able to walk and stuff. He gets tired out pretty easily. So that's perfect. She's like, what about a candy cane of beef jerky? And at that moment, in my mind, because you know how my mind works, I burst out laughing in the large Marge voice that you heard. So I'm laughing for like 15 minutes. You can hear the phlegm and all that shit bubbling up. I can't stop laughing. I start coughing and I can't stop coughing. 
but I'm also laughing at the same time. And I'm like, I'm trying to get a drink down, but I can't because it's going to go down the wrong pipe because I'm laughing and coughing at the same time. And she's like, what's so funny? I was like, you're literally going to get a guy who's been paralyzed for the last year and a half, a cane yeah. made out of meat. And she just was like, you are such an asshole. And I started laughing even harder. Yeah, because she couldn't even see that after, right? Like, that was it. Like, it was it was done and it was sold. I started dying laughing. And, like, she starts watching, like, freaking iced tea on Law & Order, because that's what we've been watching lately. Yeah. And somebody was walking with a cane. This was, like, an hour later. And I just burst out laughing again. Like, I couldn't stop. Like, I couldn't. She was like, just stop. I was like, I can't. I can't. You're going to get a paralyzed guy a cane of meat. This is fucking hilarious. But we ended up getting him a package of different beef jerkies, all named after different celebrities, but in, like, jerky okay, name. Yeah. yeah, it was pretty good, though. So, yeah, I'll get you that website Please somehow. Do. Well, I could probably Google it. But, right along uh, with the website that sells candy from every every uh decade going see, back and this all is the, the thing the it's just gonna be one of those weird canadian rules if i can get it or not yeah so we're slowly we're, we're yeah the country's so, doing some stuff but it's uh, uh, what a what a life man i will say this i will definitely jump back on this ride again this was fun <laughs> if well, anything happens to me now i will get back in line for this this was fun no, it's uh, like I said, it's um, it, it's been fun watching you because like I said, you used to I remember when I first met you like two years ago, man, like you were playing like yeah. retro games on Wednesday. Like that was it. You were you were. And it's not oh, like you weren't back. an adult. Yeah. You just had the wonder of a child as an adult. Like, and oh, that's yeah. the thing that like really resonated with me. But uh, as, I'll never lose that. No, that's the thing. That's what you got, man. And that's the thing yeah. I got to. But that's uh, that's kind of what I'm hoping for. But I'm glad I get to watch uh, you and Joey Shadows uh, go through that uh, before yeah. I do, because then I know what not. And that's the crazy part, right? So that's the thing. I, and that's before I know you're. I no, can you're hear good, it, brother. But that's the thing that I was given the most advice about. They were like, never lose that childlike wonder, because that's going to be the thing that gives your kid the best childhood ever, is the fact that you never forgot how to be a child. Well, and that's it, dude, so. because I feel some days, like, my old man was uh, kind of a miserable prick at uh, towards the end, and that yeah. was it, and I worry some days that uh, as, as much as we try not to be, well, actually, your dad seems pretty cool, but, right, as a child, way. what do you He's not still... want to be? What do you not want to yeah. be, right? Yeah. Like, all for the most part, some, some do want to be their parents and some just, and oh, I hope it. to God, I'm like my dad. I hope well, to God. Fuck. He's, he's also not lost that child. Like wonder he still has that. Well, and that's At just like, it. 60 like it something. seems like it too. Yeah. So just, just a heads up, man. If you go to have one, just have fun. Like a child building Legos, playing video games, whatever the hell makes you happy. Just fucking do that shit. Well, and your kid will be happy. And, and it'll have to. So now the uh, the the gentleman that I uh, I should have told him to sit there. I was gonna raid Joey Shadows, but he just took a fucking break. So oh, uh, let's go find someone else. But I want to thank you for coming in, Carrie. But oh, no uh, problem, let's man. go spend some time with our. Do you have anybody, Carrie? Uh let's take a look. Depends. Uh, who do people want to see? Do they want to see Call of Duty? Do they want to see... You seem to have a lot of uh, Call of Duty uh, shout-outs here today, so why not throw that up? If you got some Okay, more? I got one for you. Okay. Um, she's kind of cool. Hold on, let me, let me pull up another tab so I can copy and paste it so you can see it. Uh, da, 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 da. She's pretty cool. I met her on TikTok, actually. Um, and she goes pretty hard in the Call of Duty... Call of Duty realms. Go here. She does a lot of Call of Duty TikTok stuff. Um, and she's also on here playing a lot of Call of Duty. That's just what she does. Okay. And she's a pretty cool person. So I've chilled with her a few times. Not like in person, but chilled in her chats a few times. And she's pretty cool. Some of the people in this in this community may already know who she is. I don't know. Well, no, that's I, good. I'm I'm yeah. like I said, it's uh I haven't been on enough and that's it. And I don't know. I like doing this on TikTok, but like I said, we've got everything set up for uh, Spotify right now. 
So yeah. uh, we'll see. But I do like doing the video version, and that way you can at least check or put it on YouTube. And now that our good friend Noble is handling all yeah. this shit for us, um, it should be a lot uh, better. Uh, well, you're pretty bang on, man. If there's one thing, I always feel bad because you spend a lot of hours fucking... You play for two and then what another two and fucking clipping and yep yeah <laughs> two so... clipping and editing and my wife's like hey are you actually coming to bed tonight or are you just going to be at this computer all day and i'm like i'm coming to bed lately it's been i'm coming to bed when i first started out it's just like i gotta get this video out dude i'll be out i'll be out in a half an hour Super. now i'm just like yeah fuck it i'll make the video tomorrow <laughs> yeah, we, but we have a willing volunteer now which is even better so but uh, yeah. ladies and gentlemen i want to thank you guys for coming out here uh continued support um like i said we're trying out uh a new format for next week so uh we'll figure out we're either going to talk bigfoot ghostesses or some Ooh. weird shit we'll figure something out but at least we'll do some research and, and i definitely some... have a oh go ahead I'm, oh i'm sorry no, i've no, definitely no. got a question about next week not right now but okay. i'm saving it for next week yeah yeah, yeah. we're definitely yeah. gonna have to plan this like today because we're not yep. gonna get to it until friday so yep. that's just that's just how we live but uh, all right everybody thank you guys for coming out uh we are gonna go check out og casual female in uh roughly 10 seconds so as always thank you for everybody for coming out my mods carrie um everybody kind of trivia lemons we've got the rock boys rock boys salute um yep. fuck everybody like like i said it's it's the the usual guys we had buddha noble i gotta get yeah. rid of this pokemon community fuck i'm not on here enough anyways i'm done talking let's go see og casual female <laughs> nice dude no, I got it.